Hello! Thanks for joining us. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use formulas to trigger conditional formatting in Excel 2010. And, in this video, we'll be using the Employment Dataset. In previous videos, you've seen how to use conditional formatting in Excel to give your worksheets a customized look and make them easier to read and summarize using data bars, icons, and color scales. But in each of those videos, the formatting was determined by the value of the cell itself. In this video, we're going to show you how to trigger conditional formats using formulas that rely on cells other than the cell receiving the formatting. Let's begin as we have in previous examples by selecting the salary field first, cells G2 to G100. Click on the Conditional Formatting button and select New Rule near the bottom. In the Select Rule Type box at the top of the dialog, click on Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Enter the formula you want to use in the reference box. Remember, the formatting will be applied to cells when the formula evaluates is true. Let's enter the following formula, equals, and, open parentheses, D2 equals, quote, female, end quote, comma, F2 equals, quote, sales, end quote, comma, G2 is greater than 100,000 close parentheses. This formula will identify female employees who are in sales and who make over a hundred thousand a year. Click on the format button to select the new formatting. You can customize the number, font, borders, and fill. Let's click on the font tab. We'll change the color to a darker orange. Then, let's add an underline. Finally, let's boldface the font as well. Now click on OK to apply. So, we're identifying the really successful women in the company. And, we can see that there are quite a few of them. Our next example is going to add some nice formatting to any worksheet. We're going to add shading to alternating rows. Begin by selecting columns A through H. Now, go to Conditional Formatting, select New Rule, and choose the Use a Formula Rule Type. Now enter the following formula, equals, mod, open parentheses, row, open and close parentheses, comma, two, close parentheses, equals one. This formula uses the modulus function to get the remainder after dividing the row number by two. This will return a one for odd numbered rows, and zero for even-numbered rows. If the modulus equals one, then the formula is true and the formatting is applied. Click on the Format button to select the new formatting. Let's click on the Fill tab and select a lighter blue for the shaded background. Then click on OK to apply the formatting rule. Now you can see how this creates some nice formatting to help improve the readability of the worksheet. For our last example, we'll highlight the names of employees who have a hiring anniversary during the current month. We did this using icons in a previous video, but it required making a new column of data that we could assign the icons to. This time, we'll just use a formula to do the same job without increasing the size of the datasheet. Start by selecting the first name field, 
from cell B2 to B100. Then enter a new rule for conditional formatting. Choose the use a formula as the rule type and enter the following formula equals month E2, which is the hiring date, equals month, open parentheses, today, open and close parentheses, the today function will give us today's date, close parentheses again. This compares the month of the employee's hiring date to the month of today's date. If the months are the same, the formula is true and the formatting will be applied. Keep in mind that I'm recording this video in December, so we should get formatting applied to employees hired in December only. Click on the Format button to select the new formatting. This time, click on the Border tab. Change the color to a bright red. Then select the top, bottom, and left borders. Please note, if you want a colored border, you must select each individual border to be used. The outline button at the top only applies a black border to the cell. Now click on OK to apply the formatting. We're almost there. Now select the last name field from cell C2 to C100. Then enter a new rule for conditional formatting. Choose the use of formula as the rule type and enter the same formula we used before. Equals month, open parentheses, E2, close parentheses, equals month, open parentheses, today, open and close parentheses, close parentheses. Click on the format button to select new formatting. Make sure you're on the border tab again. We'll change the color to a bright red. And this time select the top, bottom, and right borders. Now click on OK to apply the formatting. Now you can see that there is a red border around both the first and last names of employees that were hired in December. Since we used the today function in the formula, this formatting will be applied to any employee hired during the current month. This is an example of using formulas to trigger conditional formatting in Excel 2010. I'll see you in the next video.